Good morning. Good morning. That was pretty sad. Let's try that again. Good morning. Good morning. This is Palm Sunday. The scripture says, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Would you take a moment and greet someone around you, whether wave or actually get up, and say hello to a couple of people. Okay, folks, I said let's greet people, not have a long dialogue. So today is Palm Passion Sunday, and while we sing, you'll see some palm branches come around. Uh, I don't know if you're aware that typically we take the palm branches from the current year and burn them to create the ashes for Ash Wednesday. How many of you knew that? Uh, okay, just so you know, that if you burn the palms, do it in an open place, because it smells really interesting. <laughs> we are First CI Methodist Church Ministries. Uh, we are one vision, one mission, two campuses, Pendleton and Ingalls. And we ask that if you get a palm, you wave it and celebrate as we share in song. I can see it. I can see it. I can feel it. I can't hear it. But I can see it and I can feel it. We've got joy in here. Let's stand and celebrate in song. <laughs> and God with us. Who are we? You would be mindful of us. What do you see? It's we're looking our way. We are free in ways that we never should be. Sweet release from the grip of these chains. straining from the
to Calvary, nevertheless, we lay it at your feet. So to tiny offering, compared to Calvary, nevertheless, participating in that. It was wonderful to look out and see you all waving yes, the palm branches, the excitement that may have been felt on that Sunday. But you may go ahead and be seated, and we'll join in our opening breakthrough prayer. Lord, we want to have breakthrough this Lenten season. Help us on our Lenten journey to be willing to add multiple ways of glorifying your name. Help shape us and mold us into the spiritual people you want us to be. Help us to continue to increase our faith, confirm our hope, and be perfected in love. May you guide our hearts and minds in living into our love to one another. Be the love. Amen.
okay, I'm going to ask the choir to stand and join us as we continue celebrating in song. Rejoice, ye pure in heart. And we're just doing verses 1, 2, and 5. Hear the word of God from Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and then 19 through 29. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let's see if you could do that. His love endures forever. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God and he has made his light shine upon us. With vows in hand, join in the festal procession up the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will praise you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Join with me in that phrasing one more time. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Soul, let's fill our room with music once again. Choir, would you join us? Two verses of Ask Ye What Great Thing I Know.
I do want to thank all of those that participated in waving the palm branches. Next time we'll try to have a song that's longer so you could walk 20 times through. Actually, it went very well. Thank you for participating. Uh, when I dismiss the kids to go to Sunday school, if you would bring the palms with you, and they're going to be collected, and then if you have a palm branch in your possession or close to you, we're going to ask that you pass it toward the center aisle and that they be, in fact, if the kids would collect those as they go to Children's Church, so go ahead and do that. Dee Fowler is going to be teaching you. So the unique part, uh, you know, sometimes you have experiences that just happen. One year after Palm Sunday, I was sitting under a canopy on a set of steps at DePaul Memorial in New Albany, Indiana. We were right across the street on Vincennes Street from New Albany High School. I was burning the palm branches, and about midway through, a police car pulled up under the canopy. And the, the officer got out and said, Sir, can I ask what you're doing? He said, I am burning the palm branches so that I can have ashes for next year's ash." Wednesday service and I said that's intriguing that you just decided to pull up and ask and he said well we got a call and complaint that someone was smoking pot <laughs> well no sir I am not and he said well it has kind of the same odor and he shared some information with me that I did not know that if it's within a thousand yards of a school, it is a felony. So I no longer burnt or burned Ash Wednesday palms anywhere close to the school because I didn't want to get another run in on a completely innocent thing. But, you know, there's that. So you could say, Pastor John almost got arrested. <laughs> Didn't. Anyway, I am thankful for that experience more than one ways. So I want to thank you. Thank you for participating, but thank you for being you. Thank you for sharing in faithfulness and kindness and generosity. Thank you for the way that you treat one another and help out one another. You offer gifts. You offer time and talent. You offer your services. We are grateful for the way you do that. I ask you weekly to give of your prayers, your presence, your time, talent, gifts, service, and witness. Before the Lenten season, there were a hundred little plastic rubber Jesuses that were set throughout the church. I was asked the other day if all of them have been accounted for. Well, there has been one in this place that I don't think anyone has seen. I did show it to someone yes, uh, Monday, and that was Sherry Doubt. If you look over, some of you are in the window well of the third mirror uh, window. Can you see in the corner? Is there still a Jesus there? Thank God Jesus is still with us. <laughs> anyway, we give thanks to God. This is Holy Week. This coming Thursday, we're all having Monday Thursday here at 7 o'clock. Good Friday service will be at Ingalls campus also at 7. And then both campuses will be sharing in Easter at our regular times. Invite folks. Now the Good Friday service will be in person only. Monday, Thursday service, I think we will do in person and put it on Facebook and YouTube. I want you to remember that this is the week 
that you recognize who God is more than any other. I'd like to lift up prayer requests and prayer needs, but before I do that, there are some people having birthdays. Karen Zachary on the 25th, Alan Held on the 25th, April Prickett on the 31st, uh, Gloria Lusk is having one really soon. Gloria, is it the 31st or is it the 1st? The 1st? No fooling? Oh, come on, folks. It's April Fool's Day. Gosh. And then getting into early next week, Jenny Schnepp is the 2nd, and Terry Cook is the 6th, I believe. Is that right, Terry? I, you all need Jesus. You just need to go and hold that Jesus. Anyway, lift up one another. Let's spend a moment this time to focus on prayer. Maybe we spend some quiet time in our own way lifting up God. In a moment, I'll share some names, and then we'll go into the prayer song. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our prayers. Lord, we lift up to you in the name of Jesus, schools, students, teachers, and staff. Continue to remember grieving families, most recent one, Mary Ann and Cochran in the family. Continue to be with Ron Morgan, Shirley Henderson, Jim Cunningham, James Davenport, Melissa Schnepp, Linda Pennington, Carrie Bond, Norma Jean Buck, Doris Gust, Tammy McKean, Robin Axel Adams, Don Gurnan, Charlie and Becky Wiley, Kathy Moore, Kathy Barber, Ken Cobb, Chris Nodine, and Lord be with all of those traveling either back from spring break or going to spring break. Cover all of us in your grace, in Jesus' name. Finding myself at a loss for words. And the funny thing is, it's okay. Last thing I need is to be heard, but to hear what you would say. Word of God, speak. Would you pour down my grain, washing my eyes to see? Your majesty to be still and know that you're in this place. Please let me stay in rest in your holiness. Word of God speak. Oh Lord, we come to you in the name of Jesus, asking that very thing that your word will speak to us. And may that word be profound and influential and important. And may we heed the words, whatever those words or nudging may be. We call upon your grace to help us in the next steps of who we are, that we may be able to make a difference. And Lord, when we are too weak to do anything, speak to us and give us courage and strength. Embrace us and help us to feel better. And the anointing of the power of your Holy Spirit take over us so that we do things and say things and be the love that you've called us to be in ways that only you can direct. Help us, O oh Lord, to be faithful 
to be reminded of the many things that make life dear and sacred to us. And let us not take it for granted. Help us, O oh Lord, to pray the prayer that you have taught us to pray and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Finding myself in the midst of you, beyond the music, beyond the noise, all that I Does God speak to you? I pray that God does in miraculous, important, special, and significant ways. In formulating what I wanted to share today, God kind of nudged me in a different way this morning. And I thought, I don't know if I really feel that comfortable doing it. And then I think God said, what, are you intimidated? And there's a part of me that said, well, yeah, kind of, a little, because it's different and new. So I'm going to do it, and then whatever happens, well, it's okay. Because Ryan just saying that it's okay. Well, that's the Word of God that speaks, right? So today I've been asked to pray for Purdue basketball. <laughs> and I'm just going to say, watch the game with inference and excitement and energy. But I'm not going to pray. I do have to say that I pulled out one of my old tricks. When Are there any UK fans here? We have one? Okay. Well, during a recent game, I did something that I haven't done in a long time. 
I cross my fingers, I cross my arms, I cross my legs for Oakland to hit free throws. <laughs> Sorry, William. And you know what? It worked. How many of you are superstitious? No one? Well, good, then you won't be bothered by what I do today. That's okay. Okay, this is a time where we celebrate Jesus coming into Jerusalem. A lot of hype has been built up. People take off their outer clothing and have palm branches and they lay them on the ground and they are prepared. They are prepared. So like they were being prepared, I'm going to show you how I get prepared for a parade. Some of this has been years in the making, but this is how I get ready. I already have a, a stool, so I, I'm not bringing my lawn chair with me. I already have it. But I brought a hat because it may get sunny out there. And then I brought sunglasses. Hey. Hey. Then, since I got here early, I brought some snacks, peanut butter crackers, some Gatorade, and probably the most important thing is a trash bag. Do you know what this is for? To collect all the candy. I used to bring just a little bag, but then I realized there's a lot of candy being thrown out. I did ask Debbie about a thought, and she said it probably wouldn't be a good idea. I thought of bringing candy today and then throwing it out to you. But I figured you would fight over it and it would be a mess. So I'll just have to say, wait and see what happens next week. So then, you know, I, this is kind of anachronistic, isn't it? Because in the day of the, the time where Jesus would come in, people probably didn't look like this. I don't think they had sunglasses back then. But also, in a parade, I bring an umbrella. Because sometimes it has rained on me. Now, how many of you are afraid of opening an umbrella in public? Anyone? Do you know that that's a superstition that really doesn't work? Because the reason why people were anxious about an umbrella inside is that they were afraid that they would break something. There's not a whole lot of room for me to break something. But I don't have the superstition. I'm not afraid of trichodecophobia, which is the fear of number 13. I'm not afraid. But have you seen people look something like this in a parade? Probably, oh God, no. But anyway. So the uniqueness of this, think about it. You come prepared. You get all ready. You maybe even have squatted early to get just the right spot. And maybe it, it's a new spot and you've never done that before. But you come and find a place. And you get ready, and you're there early, and you're all set. And then it happens. The parade happens. And it's one person. And then you think, I did all of this for that? And then we're not recognizing what that one solitary life was to do for the rest of the world. Okay, if it's okay with you, 
I can't hardly see you in the sunglasses, so. But I'm kind of rocking the hat, don't you think? Yeah, it's going off too. And I got a haircut, so it wouldn't matter what my hair looked like afterwards. So the unique part is all of that preparation for just that. The scripture says, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Get ready to receive God. What are we doing this week to receive God in our lives this week? Some people prepare all year long for big events. I know my son and his fiance have been planning a wedding for over a year now. And in August, it, I think it's still on, and I think it's going to happen. But they're still way far away from finalizing all of the things for that. I know some of you are heading out of town, and I asked if you've packed already. And it's like, no, I'll wait until the last minute to throw things together. How many of you packed late and forgot something? Anyone? How many of you packed early and still forgot something? See, it really doesn't matter, does it? Because we're probably going to forget. So as you prepare for the parade today, some of you waved branches. Some of you waved branches just indiscriminately like, here, I'm here. I'm having fun. Some of you are going to need massage therapy because you haven't moved your arms like that in a long time. But then it ended. And after the ending, you sat down and went, whew, glad that's over. I hope our faith isn't geared like that. I hope we don't give up on Jesus after Easter. I hope we don't say, okay, put God in a box until another special holiday comes later on. I hope we keep Jesus in our hearts every day. The parade is simple, one person, but that one solitary life changed our world forever. And it's because... He knew exactly what was going to take place. I didn't plan that. It just fell. Events happen in our lives. Sometimes separate us from God. Pull us away from God or distract us from God. Or we feel like that we're totally attentive, we're locked in, we're laser focused, and then it happens and it's done and we have a rush of disappointment because it, it did not last any longer. My relationship with Jesus Christ is an ongoing situation of faithfulness, guidance, and direction. And there are times when I want to run ahead. I want to be at the front of the line in my faith. I want to be at the very edge of what's going on and what's happening. I had a, a college buddy that his job after a parade was come behind and clean up afterwards. And he would jokingly say, Lord, I pray that there aren't any horses in this parade. Hopefully I don't have to explain that. But every year he said, I got extra money for college and I did it. I said, don't you get tired of that? And he said, it's new trash every year. And he said, sometimes I find money. And he said, that makes it even more special. I said, over the trash? And he said, okay, there's more trash than there is money. But I still get paid 
for doing that task. Some of the tasks that you offer, you may not get a financial reimbursement. But as a friend of mine who said, your reward will be great in heaven. So do what you can to lift up one another. Do what you can to help, as our prayer says, increase our faith, confirm our hope, and help be perfected in love. Because that's what makes the difference. That's what makes the Easter story come alive. And to be in us and fills us with all sins of person and gratitude. Now it didn't matter that I tried to get ready for a parade. Because I, I want the long haul. I want the relationship with Jesus every day. Not just on one special day. You know the story, but within a week, he had a triumphal entry. And in less than a week, the cheering crowd cheered the opposite way. And to say, crucify him. And so they did. So this coming week is a big change in the shift of attitude of celebrating blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he to I don't know that man. Or I don't know that man. Or I'm going to run and hide. Jesus knew all of that, and he still pressed on. Because he knew what the greater outcome was. He knew that he had to go through that. The elation and the wonderful experience of affirmation and the ultimate cruelty and death. But thanks be to God, the story doesn't end there. Come next week and hear what happens. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord, we give thanks to you asking for your blessing and your anointing. Help us to recognize that when we prepare ourselves, we may be shocked in the outcome. Call us, whisper to us, speak to us, nudge us, influence us. Help us to be a person of faith that you called us to be. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's just celebrate so many blessings and what he did for us. Stand together because we have forever as a promise. Good.
ecstatic song His love endures forever By the grace of God we will carry on His love endures forever on the parade, be a part of that parade, and go out and share Christ with the world. Have a parade, let you be a part of it. He loves you people, so do I. Sing praise. 